Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the two player 81 plus guaranteed upgrade packs. We're going to open them today, but I'm going to be dropping some topics on you and you got involved and I think it's going to be a good video. So if you want to see more, drop a like, let me know in the comment section. And if you are needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com. Use the code Fuji on that site to get a discount on every single order. Uh, let's get into the video. So someone has asked me, what makes a good player for you? Like the stats that you look for in a player. Honestly, it has to be pace, a little bit of strength, not incredible amount of strength, a little bit of strength, and then you've got really good agility, dribbling, and ball control. It's all about dribbling, being able to turn properly. That's what makes a good player for me personally on FIFA 18. But you will see the term meta player start flying, like it's flying around. That's just another way of saying like overpower players that are suited for the game. So... Martial, he's got a little bit of everything. So for me, it has to be like agility though. That's the main stat that I look for. Someone that can turn. So next one, guys. Let's get it. I want to see that big walkout. It's glowing. Come on, EA. Show me the goodness. It's going to be Belgium. Cat. Oh, it's not Mert. Oh my god. No. Yes. Let's go. A walkout. We've already got a walkout. It's going to be Kevin De Bruyne from Man City. That is a huge pull. Jesus. That's actually massive. I was not expecting that today because Path to Glory cards have gone out of packs. So that is pretty huge right there. Kevin De Bruyne. Let's go. Who else is in the pack with him? Let's find out. Oh. Yeah, not that good. So the next one is custom tactic importance. It is very important. A lot of people will deny this for whatever reason. I don't know why. But if you go into a game where you haven't changed your custom tactics and it's all 50, it just feels so dead. As soon as you change that chance creation, you bring up your speed a little bit. Now, although that's going to open you a little bit up at the back, you've got just your creative juice is flowing you know everything just starts clicking you're able to find players in space it is so important to find a set of custom tactics that suit the way you want to play if you don't know how you want to play then that's where it's good to maybe take other people's and feel what's right for you so that's the best way that i can explain things so what do newcastle need to improve position play style he's basically asking what do i think that they need to improve on well, to start off with a striker, Hosselu is shocking. And I tweeted him yesterday, well, Newcastle and Hosselu, added them both, not attacking him, just saying, like, are you going to score this weekend? Because he has been dreadful. The way I view it is that policemen and firemen, they need to be on their A game every single day. And I know that Hosselu might be lacking a little bit of confidence, but it's just not good enough. He's got the support from the Newcastle fans. We don't expect that much from him. All that we want him to do is put the ball in the back of the net. Like, he is shocking. The goal that he scored against Liverpool, I remember it to be, he didn't even take a strike. The defender hit it and it came off his shin and went in the back of the net. And he had the cheek to celebrate. I was laughing. I thought it was brilliant. But no, that is embarrassing. Overall, though, I like the way Rafa is uh, setting out the team. He's always been like that, though. He sits back, frustrates the opposition, and then catches them on the counter. It's all well and good playing that. We just don't have the correct players like Atsu he's good but you never know really what to expect from him some days he's powerful we run at the opposition and then at times they get lost in games Richie I, I like really do like Richie but we need to bring a little bit more quality especially in that striker position I've got a question not so much a topic is striker son the cheap Del Piero well I would go as far to say he is the difference that I feel like from both of the cards you've got Del Piero that can turn very quickly and that's what makes him just one of the best cams and strikers on the game for me and then you've got human son that if you're comparing the shot very difficult to tell which one is actually better like putting the ball in the back of the net because they are both incredible and the son's got the pace he has a little bit of strength he also has the height in his favor and when it comes to dribbling he doesn't feel that great, but he's not unplayable. You can turn with Son. So Del Piero has the edge a little bit, but if you want me to say is he the cheap Del Piero, for sure he is. And for 400,000 coins, that is a great price, and I'm using him this weekend. So someone's complaining about delay and handicap while having an expensive team. And although I'm laughing, that has some truth behind it. So you know we are taking part in Fatal using the... Hold on a minute. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to be uh, Thiago Silva. You know we're using like a load of silver players to start off. 
I played the first two episodes and my team was on fire. Like, I couldn't believe how good they were. McCleary, it was like scoring bangers. I had the midfield just playing ridiculously well. And then as soon as I start bringing in more goals, more goals and fill out the bench, my team is awful. And I don't know if that's just because of the time that I'm playing or is it really handicap that is the question i don't know i think handicap has been part of fever for a long time but i don't know i really can't give you like the defining answer so i've got someone here saying the pay to win system that's been encouraged by youtubers on fifa and does your nana actually own a party bag i don't know where you're getting pay to win that's been encouraged by youtubers i don't feel like the game is necessarily pay to win although it is forcing you to get the better players you can get them just by playing in the weekend league and just playing the game and earning coins because you can see what the rewards do. You've got squad battles that you can get some incredible players from. Foot champ rewards, finishing an elite. There you go. You've got the team of the week players that can sell for like 100, 200,000 coins. So although I would say that it is technically play to win because you need those cards, it isn't at the same time. I, I have a road to glory, so I'm showing you firsthand that you can get these high-rated players without spending a, a single penny. So Todd has said, your thoughts on United putting six past Newcastle today? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. I hope not. I hope that we can maybe keep it to one or two goals. Six goals is embarrassing, but with the way United play, probably. And we are away at Old Trafford, so yeah, it's not looking good, to be honest. Hosselu, I'm feeling a hat-trick from my boy. He better turn up today now. We we're probably will lose, but I'll still watch it myself. <sighs> I'm actually recording this before the Newcastle game, so if you guys want to put some score predictions down in the comments, oh, actually, when you watch this... We know who's won. So yeah, don't don't go harsh on me. Uh, I hope Newcastle win. What's your opinion on the kickoff boost? How ridiculous is that the kickoff boost is real? Like it's in the game. It's something to do with the coding. I am I'm gonna put it down to, you know, like the player positions when the game starts, they're not all over the place, they're structured, right? So they're face up towards the play. And if you're running at them, it's difficult for them to turn and react to the play. That's what I believe it to be because you've got full stamina and they just can't turn. <laughs> they should be able to turn. You've also got the argument that although you have the kickoff boost, your opponent has it as well, so there shouldn't be an issue. It definitely shouldn't be in the game, but it's there. And I don't know why and what is causing it exactly. So either go Ultra D, I don't even think that works to be honest, you can't stop it. I don't think you can stop it, it just happens and that's it. It would be interesting if you could address the massive criticism that FIFA 18 is undergoing. So many streamers, YouTubers and pro players are complaining, what are your thoughts? Let's go way back to Early Access. If you guys played Early Access, you would have known how fun it was. Defending was difficult, but that would have come with time, you would have been able to adapt. But having said that, it wouldn't. And I will explain things in just a second. And with the attack, you could literally beat players for pace, drop your shoulder, run through it. It felt like FIFA 10 and 11. It was so fun to play with good gameplay. And then when early release finished and everyone was getting on the game and it was overloading the servers, you are playing, which was eSport ready, and it was down to player skill who was going to win. But now you are relying on a game where you need to just be so quick to react in laggy conditions. That's never gonna work. It just won't. So it doesn't matter what EA created if they created the best possible game that we've ever seen. If you're putting that, uploading that game onto the servers that we're playing right now, it's unplayable. So that's one of the reasons why they patched the game because they knew that we couldn't react quick enough. So they upped the AI a little bit to help us out. Instead of doing that, invest money into the servers because you had a good game. The game was brilliant. But unfortunately, they don't want to do that for whatever reason. So they are literally patching something that didn't need to be patched. The problem is connectivity. And it is such a shame because unless you play the game at uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning where you will experience what you're supposed to be playing, most of you guys will be playing from 5 to 9 o'clock. Now, some games might be fine, like really good, really smooth, and then you might go into a game where you don't necessarily have delay, but you will have a form of form of delay where the game feels slow and another match you might think that you're through on goal you'll take a shot you'll turn your player take a shot but for whatever reason they haven't taken that turn properly and you'll hit it with the wrong foot stuff like that just causes fifa rage because you don't have full control over it so with people complaining saying oh what have they done to the game 
it was always going to be like that because they can't create an eSport ready game with the servers that they're using right now. They need to expand. The connectivity is the problem. It's not the game, it's the connectivity. And that is my honest opinion with FIFA right now. And so instead of them inviting YouTubers to these events or getting loads of these icon cards on the game, invest some money and give the viewers, give the consumers what they want. And that's what it comes down to. And those are my opinions. Let me know if you agree or disagree. We have three more packs to go. No more topics. Let's get straight into the packs. I'm very happy with Kevin De Bruyne though. That's been our best player so far in this pack opening. And another pack without any glow. So let's just skip it and get through. But if you want to see more of these videos where we can do some, I don't know, two player packs. Oh, that's awful. Uh, we can do two player packs or just pack openings. We can start getting some discussions going because I actually really enjoy it. Just relaxing, not so much focusing on FIFA. Sometimes it's good to have a little bit, bit of a break. But I'm ready. After the Newcastle game, I'm going to be smashing out foot champs. Who? Oh, it's Hananovic. Yes, there we go. Our second walkout of the um, pack opening. Where is he? He doesn't look too interested, to be honest. <laughs> Worst celebration I've ever seen. No, Handanovic is good. And I haven't used him that much on the game. But when I've come up against him, he's been a very good keeper. So I do like that. Very nice. So on to the last pack. Drop a like on the video if you do want to see more. And you could even post some topics in the comments for the next pack opening. It's up to you guys. And we are finishing off on the glow. Is it going to be a big one? Oh, God. Oh, Matip. Yeah, no, that's terrible. Was it not Matip that was the one that kicked the ball against Hosselu for him to score? I'm pretty sure it was. But anyway, that's going to be it from me. Hopefully Newcastle win today. Score predictions in the comments, don't cheat. I actually know. Like I said, the game is already going to be finished. Ignore me. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Team out. Peace.